changing your mindset. Happy to be another edition of your TV show, Miss Will. It's been a pleasure to have you join us this week. Let's go take a look at what we're talking about. We'll be right back. This is Welcome back to Join Join Us. This is Miss Will. My guest today on the show. Is one man who said he is ready to reboot Nigeria. Do you hear me right? Yes, he said he is ready to reboot Nigeria. And he needs you and I to join him in doing his job. He can't do it alone. Join me to welcome on the show Mr. Philip Edao, the president of Reboot Nigeria. Hope he's slowly recording. Mr. Philip, good to have you on the show. Thank you very much for having me. You're welcome. I don't do it. This is yours. You want to run for president of Nigeria. And the question is, what makes you feel you have all the things to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? Well, firstly, I am a Nigerian born in the country. Precisely from the Muslim disabilities of the Secondly, I think that in terms of the consumer for the food education and the economic that what fundamentally I think that what the new president of the country Looking at the historical uh, evidences from other parts of the world, what you need at one, how much you need to come. You really love your country, you really love your community too. What vision do you have for the country? Where do you wish to see your country? You will be tenure of, of your reign and beyond. How do you expect or are you seeing your country becoming a part of the global community? What do you wish? And how do you wish your country to see and see the of your country? And you need to be in a position to say clear, ideological, this is where and how I want my country to be and how I wish to see the citizens of my country. So, in, in terms of quality of life, in terms of quality and how they are respected and seen by other people from around the world. I think that fundamentally this has been supported for I had a question asked, oh, but it's not happening in government before. So, and I said to people, you don't need to have any government. Still be a quality leader for the country. You only don't need to be. In terms of my previous experiences in leadership, I have led my, I'm a professional person, I'm a doctor, I've led my, my, my medical union to this country. I have, I have led because my political party with the ASCO, I live in the UK, and I've been chairman of the ABC in the ASCO. I'm the chairman of the committee of the ASCO, I have participated actively since the formation of this party, and before it was formed for some of the legacy parties, in how our countries have been and what has become of them in terms of the growth and the respectability of our parties have been. Over this period of time, I do believe that our country will be in better place. That is what we want to do. I believe that the success of this country deserves to be respected. First of all, by the political leadership, they need to be treated better, they need to be valued as human beings, they need to be made to understand that first of all, they are human beings, and we need to be to frame the Nigerian person in the eyes of the world as a human being. And as African, that also needs to be respected by other races. At this point in time, when you look at the global stats of how the racial, I mean, races of the world are, are, are judged, the African is at the bottom. That's, I didn't do the answer, I clearly understand. Do you think that becoming a president, you're going to be from the government's top? In 2023, Nigeria needs a visionary and smart leader who will bring the nation back to a leadership position in Africa. We need a leader who understands how developed countries conquered poverty, security, power, and corruption. Dr. Philip Idawo is that leader, the very hope of the common man. He believes in the Nigeria where citizens should be treated with dignity, irrespective of tribe, religion, and social status. He will rebuild and restore hope for our future generation. 
His expertise and experience in modern healthcare technology will give fresh life to our healthcare and trigger advancement in other sectors of the economy. Nigeria will be the envy of the world again, the pride of the black race, the place to be, and investor's destination. Together, Together let's build the Nigeria, Nigeria of our dreams. Let's stand with Dr. Philip E. Daiwar. He's got it. I believe that, I believe that we can get this process moving. I believe that I have the requisite desire and passion to get it started. And I believe that with getting the, our citizens involved in leadership, the way it should be, okay, the president of a country is not a master of all. This country is blessed with abundant human resources and capabilities. If we respect our people, if we work with them, if we consult with them, if we make them part of the governance of this country, Nigerians themselves will begin to recognize that they have become a respected group of individuals that actually will become true leaders of the African Now, in some of your reasons why you want to go, you may mention of being in love with your country. From the look of things, it's obvious you based in the UK, in the days here. You should not Nigeria that much. How would you spend the better part of your life in the UK? Well, let, let me put it this way. I, I grew up in this country. I had all my education, including my special training as a, as a pathologist in this country. I worked as a lecturer and a doctor in this country, in the medical school. And I have contributed immensely. I can see that the, 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 the training of uh, doctors in this country. I have also been part of the processes to make this country better in terms of food and the And uh, I have never stopped. Even when I moved outside, I continued that process. I have been involved in trying, even from, from my location in the UK, in trying to frame what democracy should actually look like in my country. Not just for an example for the African people. I have been involved in that. And that is why, even though I live in the UK, I have never stopped being a part of the political parties that I have been a member of the AD, AC, AC, and now the APC. I have never stopped. So it tells you clearly that since 1999, I have been part and parcel of the process to try and change this for the future. Now, a part of the APC. How do you get to do that? You have a lot of people who are buying for these tickets in the same platform. How, how do you get to do this? Well, the first step is what I have done. I have come out and I am working with colleagues and getting the message out. We need to tell them that we as Nigerians can make our country work better for the majority of people. So that is the starting point. That is what I have done. The second point is for me to testify and push out of this message that governance is not about the few individuals, it is about the people, it's about the collective. And progressive democracy is a government of the people, of the people, by the people. You see, that second thing is so important, and that is what I believe in Nigeria is taking away from the Nigerian people. And Democracy has been domiciled in the hands of a few individuals who now call the shows, who dominate and rule the black lives of our citizens. You should never be so. Democracy is a government of the people, by the people. The Nigerian people needs to be involved in our governance problem. At the moment, the distance between government and the people, in the mindset, you went on the street and asked each other the same. The people do not see themselves as part of the government. And we must bridge that gap. Exactly. I want to be able to do that with you. You are too gentle to be politically easy. You have a second question. Well, every man you have a second question. If you don't give me these tickets, what do you do? When people ask me that question, you are not the first person asking me that. And the way I answer this question is you do not need to be a violent person to be. Successful. Indeed, a leader should be one who points, who shows empathy, who has an empathetic spirit and mind towards others. A leader should be one 
who is able to connect with people, who is able to make a leader in this. A leader should be one who is willing to listen. A leader should create fear in the minds of the people they are going to do. Alright? So it's not a matter of being gentle. Now, in terms of dealing with the critical problems that confront our country, I can assure you, I have the steel heart to deal with them when decisions need to be made for the benefit of Nigerians. Mr. Philip, you know, do you have money? At the moment, I work. <laughs> I earn salary. No, sorry, you don't need to explain to me. You know what I'm asking there? Yes. To, to be part of Nigerian government or politics, you need to spend money to Absolutely. Do you have you ever noticed it? I, I already know. You, you talk about the orientation of the bastards. This is you probably should be part of your job if you eventually win this. Yes. But an average Nigerian might not listen to you if you don't give me money. So it's going to be a very big problem to you. Now that's why I ask you, do you have money? I don't have do money. So how do you intend to get the attention of an appraised engineer? Thank you very much. You see, I don't have money to do politics the way politics is done. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, politics as it is in the US is not entirely, in other words, merchandise. Mm -hmm. So you, I give you money and you give me something. And you expect me after you collected money from me to see serving. It doesn't work that way. You see, I take us back to the history of Nigeria. What is democracy? Democracy is government. By the people. Yes, exactly. That of, of the people is key. When you look at mature democracies around the world, you, you will find one underpinning philosophy. The leadership selection process is rigorous. In terms of campaigning for offices, the people carry. So, for instance, I live in the UK. Now, when you have an MP who wants to run for government, and they're spending money from their pocket. But you spend some money. I mean, yeah, that is what happens. You can, you can check. I know, I believe mean, it. But it's Nigerian. Yes, I understand. That is why I say, you see, if we must lift ourselves up to where we should be, we must not continue to look at where we are and set our minds to remain there. We must be bold enough. We must be, we must be ferocious in our thinking to say that this is where we should be and we are going to put the message out there consistently regardless of how people look at us to help us get to that point. Have you had this cultural self And I think, I, I remember to you know, convince of this that one of the duties that we who have chosen or feel that we are passionate enough to step out into the career of politics must give to ourselves is to let people know that the power to select leaders is in their hands. And it does not reside only in casting their votes. It resides in ensuring that the very best patriotic candidates, the best patriotic citizens, the most passionate, the most ambitious, they help those ones to step into the political offices across various levels of politics. Now look at all these things. It is a desired duty. Right? And this is what I say to you. I say, come, let us do it together. Contribute to it. Your one naira matters. Your five naira matters. Your ten naira matters. If today you have one million Nigerians who are willing to put out five naira to the process of transforming this country, it does not matter how rich an individual is. Wow, Mr. Tillman, could you continue this? Sell yourself to Well, thank you for giving me that opportunity. I simply say this that come, Nigerians, join me you know, on this journey at, in our march to become the president of this country. The whole 2023 project is about Dr. Philip Bidaiwo becoming the president of Nigeria at the company. And our Underpinning philosophy is if you want to improve this country and make this country work for the many, to work for us all, rich at this time, poor at this time, male or female, old or young, who want to build a country together. I, as the president, being in, in, in the forefront to take charge 
and ensure that our security situation changes, to ensure that our productive capacity changes, to ensure that our educational systems are completely revamped and the public education will return to its primary primacy as the leading force for change in this country, to ensure that our healthcare is working, that every single Nigerian should have access to healthcare without the need to pay for it at the point of view. These primarily are our issues Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Tilly, I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. I think you have all the things. Just need to try your luck and pray that God will grant you your heart desire. For all of us. <laughs> and if you eventually grant you your heart desire, don't change. Thank you. Remember this interview will be somewhere. Thank you. For you, but they might use it against you tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> <But that> changes. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.